Hello, everyone. Uh, with this week beginning the fourth quarter and with the, ex the closures extending uh, into this week and probably further beyond, I wanted to detail how we're going to continue on in fourth quarter throughout the rest of the quarter and then uh, potential year. So first thing is the class website is going to be the main source of communication and main contact point. So you should check the class website, chsclinch.weebly.com daily for uh, the daily descriptions about what you should be doing. You're going to see video links to recorded lessons where you can watch the lesson and fill in the note packet as you watch the lesson. You can see where I posted the assignment details and then where I'll post assessment links, quizzes and tests. So the takeaway from this page is that the main source of material is going to be the class website. So check the class de uh, website daily. Uh, we're going to start to turn assignments into teams. So my, I had uh, my stats class kind of run a demo trial of this. Uh, they gave me some feedback regarding the benefits of using teams over having people email me assignments. And they felt that because so many of their other classes were using teams, that it would be best if we just started to use teams to turn in assignments. So we will start to turn in assignments on teams. You'll see me post assignments to teams and that's where you'll be able to find um, assignments posted that you can then upload your assignment to get graded. More on that in a little bit. Quizzes and tests, however, I'm going to post links to on my class website. So quizzes and tests will be done kind of like we have have already on Google Forms. So homework assignments will be turned in on Teams, but you'll do quizzes and tests using Google Forms through links that I will share on the class website. Office hours. Um, I will be available for office hours regularly for any questions. Uh, my uh, set time frame for office hours right now is going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays through Zoom. You will need a password to join the meeting and I will send out that password through Remind. Tuesdays and Thursdays, the office hours will be between 10 to 11 a.m. And I'll show you where a link uh, shortcut to the class website is uh, in just a moment. Actually, let's, yeah, let's do that right now. So. Uh, here's the class website, and this is where you should be going daily. And if you hover over the COVID tab, you can click on the class that you are enrolled in. And this is where I will detail like the uh, expectations for every single day. At the very top is where I posted just the general description, kind of what I'm going over right now. Here you can click on class notes. It's a shortcut to the class notes that have been there all year. Here's a shortcut to the homework solutions that I've been posting all year. Here's shortcut links to the office hours. So if it's a Tuesday and you want to join office hours, you'll click that button at 10 a.m. and then join it or any time between 10 and 11. You can click that link as well. If you need the meeting ID, it's right there. And then you'll need a password that I'll send out and remind. You can also download the Zoom app in order to do it or you can use a browser. If it's a Thursday and you want to join the office hour, then you click this Thursday office hours link. So that's how office hours are going to run. I originally started out by having set time frames for each class, but uh, I'm just going to have it be 10 to 11 just so I can maybe get uh, more people involved. I will let you know if no one shows up by 10, 10, I will sign off because uh, I'm not just going to be there for an hour just uh, waiting. But if you email me and I'm not there, then I will just hop right back, back on because I'll be next to my computer. So. Uh, last thing is if you need any extra help outside of office hours, the 10 to 11, just email me and we'll work something out so that I can get you some um, immediate feedback. So just know I am here for you. You just need to communicate with me. Daily routine. So daily, as I said, you should go to the class website and complete the following. So most days, uh, well, you should always read the directions for the day. Most days will typically include watching an assigned video of usually me going through a lesson. Then you should complete any of the assigned homework and then turn that in on Teams. And this is how I would like you to turn it in on Teams. You need to take a clear photo in portrait. What I mean by that is you need to take the picture vertical, not sideways, not upside down, in portrait mode. So vertical, a clear photo in what we call portrait mode and then upload the assignment in Teams. If you take it horizontally or upside down and I need to re-download it and rotate it myself, the max you get is a four out of five on that. To help you out, I posted under uh, today's this, uh, topic uh, where you got the, the video link. Uh, below here, there's a little video on how to scan documents if you have an iPhone. 
It shows you how you can use the Notes app to scan documents into PDF. It even shows you how you can do multiple pages into one PDF in case one of the assignments took more than one page. So if you have an iPhone, you can watch that. If you don't have an iPhone, I bet you, you can look up. There's plenty of apps out there for that technology. And if none of that works, if you don't want to use a PDF, you can always just upload a, uh, a picture. Uh, just make sure that it's a nice, clear photo. I can easily read it. So uh, just be aware about that. Titling your assignments, you should put your name in the upper right corner, put the section, and then the problem numbers. If you want to put the page as well, do that, but make sure to include the section because the section is how I'm going to code it in the gradebook because that's how it's directly linked with the learning targets and uh, through quizzes and all those other things in math gym. So make sure to put section, problem number, and your name at the top. Nice, neat, organized. When I grade assignments, so assignments will be due uh, noon the day after that they are assigned. Uh, the exception would be like a Friday. It wouldn't be due till Monday because I'm not going to be checking it on a Saturday. Any homework that is turned in late, so after that deadline, will receive a maximum of three out of five. If you turn an assignment in late, email me so I know to go back and check it. Otherwise, it will not get graded because I didn't even know that you turned it in. If you need more time, just tell me before the assignment is due. I'm happy to work with you, but you just need to communicate clearly with me. Some days, be aware, I am not going to go through and check each and every person's submission. Uh, it just takes a while when I tried it before. So some days, if, if you just simply submit the homework, you're going to get five out of five points. Other days, I will go through each and every person's submission, and I'm going to check their work and that they did it authentically, similar to how I would do it in class. So on those days, even though you turned it in, you might get less than five points if you didn't do all the problems or you didn't show your work or something like that. So just be aware that uh, those it might be different. Some days, if you just submit it, you're going to get five out of five. Some days, I'm going to go through and check every single one. And so you could get less than five out of five if you didn't try every problem or you just wrote down answers or something like that. Assessments, so quizzes and tests, like I said, will be conducted using Google Forms. There'll be a link on the class website for that day that the quiz or test would be done. The assessment window would be 48 hours. So homework you have till noon the next day. Quizzes and tests, you have a little bit longer. You have 48 hours. So for example, let's say there's a quiz on Thursday, March 3rd. I realize that's in the past, but this is just an example. So you're supposed to be taking it on Thursday, March 3rd. You need to complete that quiz or test or whatever it would be by 11.59 p.m. of March 4th, the following day. If you complete the quiz or test late, you need to email me so I can go back and see how you did. You can't just do it and expect I'm going to know that you did it. If it is late, though, the max you can receive is a 70% on the quiz or test, unless you let me know ahead of time and we made you know, a schedule. But if you just do it late on your own, uh, the most you can get is a 70%. That's still a lot better than zero. Last two things, uh, just know we will get through this online thing together, but we need to work together. I can be flexible with you, but I need to know what's going on before something is due. That shows me that you're still being responsible, but that you just need a little more time. If you need help or have any questions, please take advantage of office hours. You can email me at the following email address is the best way to get in contact me. contact with me. I'll be checking my email regularly between 8 and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, less regularly outside of those hours, but still I'm pretty good at about it. So that's the best way to get a hold of me immediately is just email. Last thing, there's a short quiz on the class website right below where the link for this video was to prove that you watched this video and so you get credit for watching this video. Please go complete that quiz and then read the directions for the rest of today to see what the rest of today's tasks are. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good one.